Hey everyone, it's Angie and welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing a little paint with me and I think it's been a while since I've done one of these videos and I just thought it'd be nice to chat with you guys for a change instead of my usual speed paint videos. So first I want to talk a little bit about the painting I'm working on. It's something I've never really thought of doing and personally it's way out of my comfort zone. I've been really slumped on what to draw lately and just I've had no ideas on what to create and I randomly asked my sister um, what should I draw. You know, like how you usually do when you have no idea what to draw. Usually when I ask her this, she gives me some suggestions, but I kind of ignore them and be like, no, I don't want to draw that. So, but this time I actually drew what she told me to do. She said I should draw an amusement park. Then the first thing that kind of came to mind was like um, a big roller coaster and a Ferris wheel but I wasn't sure how to draw any of those things because I've never drawn such a complex scene before. Like I said, it's really out of my comfort zone. I also was really hesitant to use reference at first. Um, I feel like lately I've been relying a lot on reference and like not really trying to come up with my own scene or my own composition and a more deep idea but my sister really encouraged me to use reference um, and I am so glad she did because this painting looks a lot better than what it would have looked like without reference. So like I usually do, I just went on Pinterest and looked for like theme park entrance because that's what I was trying to go for and I didn't really find any good references at all. So I just looked up references for the elements I wanted to include. So I added a ferris wheel and some booths, like a ticket stand and um, in the background, I have like a merry-go-round. Um, merry-go-rounds are actually really complicated because they're so detailed, so I'm glad I put it in the background. Another hard part about this was drawing the crowd. I've never drawn so many people in one um, painting. And honestly, they're not even my best, but I drew the people in the background to look like they were people and not really like just add all the details, just like a, a rough silhouette so that it's like an impression of a crowd basically, because I do not have time to draw all those detailed people. Like it, I had to go over the ground so many times with the gray paint. I wanted to make it look like um, pavement and I had to get the shadows right, so it was really hard going around every single person as well. So I just tried to draw the three um, girls in the front to look as much uh, more detailed as possible, and then everybody else is just kind of like shadows of people. And I think it worked out pretty good in the end. I mean, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> I definitely had a lot of fun drawing those trees though. I looked up a video tutorial on how to draw those like Studio Ghibli trees, um, like that kind of style, and I just went for it, but I feel like it doesn't look that great, but I, I really had a lot of fun with drawing those, so. This painting was definitely one of the most tedious paintings I've ever done. Um, it was kind of really overwhelming at first after I did the sketch layer. But I decided to just start with the background and move closer to the foreground and work that way. Especially because this is done with gouache and not color pencils. It, gouache, like, is similar to watercolors, it's a very unpredictable medium, so um, that was also very daunting. So anyway, a lot of stuff has been going on lately, like, I'm super busy all the time and I hardly have time to draw now which I'm really sad and mad about. 
I try to make a schedule and block out my week so I have time. And when I do, I've noticed that I've been more productive and I've gotten a lot of stuff done. But recently, I've been procrastinating on that. And then it just messes up my entire week schedule because I don't get anything done. And I just procrastinate on everything. Um, And that feeling is just the worst because I do have a lot of... Um, goals and dreams for this channel and like my life and stuff also my sleep schedule has been really bad I'm like waking up super early and then like sleeping really really late and then I get really tired in the middle of the day because of this and then I end up not doing anything that I'm supposed to do like work on my YouTube also I want to have time to journal and read and things like that but obviously, if I don't sleep, I won't get any of that stuff done. On a positive note, though, um, the other day, my friends came to visit me, kind of like a surprise, and they brought over my really late, really, really, really late Christmas present. I know, it's so late. But um, I was so happy and, like, shocked that my friend actually gave me um an instant camera like as a present and so I got to use it recently and I love it I can't believe I have an instant camera now um I can't wait to use it more the only downside is that I have to keep paying for film like why can't film be so much cheaper Maybe I'll include it on one of my videos. I don't know. If you guys want to see it, tell me down below if you guys want to see, like, my instant camera or something. And I'll somehow include it. Um, but it's a beautiful purple lilac color, which is, like, my favorite color. And I went the other day outside with my sister because she also has an instant camera. And we went taking pictures together. I can't wait till I have enough photos to display them all on my wall and make like a little collage. And while I add the finishing touches here, I just want to say I'm so grateful and thankful for you guys for um, subscribing to my channel. Um, I know I haven't been posting super consistently, but it's just because like, again, I'm really, really busy right now. And I've been using as much free time as I can to just work on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram. So thank you for helping my channel grow, especially during these really tough times for me. So if you're watching this and you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like the kinds of videos I've been making and if you like the art I do or if you just like hearing me chat or something. Thank you and comment down below what your favorite medium to use is for your art, if you do art. If not, you can just comment a really cute emoji or something. And until next time guys, bye!